We are so glad you've come into your local unemployment office. Uh, I'm here looking at your very impressive resume experience. And there seems to be some sort of mix up. Yes, there's a possibility you may have misunderstood the occupational experience information sheet. If we were to find you work, we would need your work history to be as accurate as possible, you understand. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, just to clear things up. Why would I mind you doing your job? Go right ahead. Great. Uh, I don't mean to be disrespectful, ma'am, but don't you think you may be a tad bit uh, senior to be in an unemployment office? No. Well, why don't you tell me why you're here? My previous responsibilities have expired. In other words, I recently discovered I am no longer needed. Hmm, just like that, out of a job? But those who don't work don't eat, so here I am. I, I guess my main concern here is that you have stated that you have experience in all but one occupation on our list. You fulfill all but one? <laughs> I mean, you may have had a lot of time to do a lot of things, ma'am, but this has got to be a mistake. Oh no, no mistake. How long did it take you to build up such a thing? I have no less than 68 years of professional experience. Good for you, Mrs. M. I guess I still don't understand, though, how you fit all of this experience into even 68 years. I, I assume you had a lot of schooling, or you started very young. In my day, we did start young, but I would call most of my schooling um, on-the-job training. Ever run your own business, Mrs. M? Oh, yes. From the very beginning, I made it my business to take care of business. What is the largest size group? you've ever managed? Well, my husband and I started with five. Oh, so your husband's your partner then? Of course he's my partner. Who else would he be? Well, he was until he went home. Oh, Mrs. M, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, sweetie, don't be sorry. He went home a little over, mm, let's see, an hour ago? Mm-hmm, he didn't want to wait around here while I came to get myself a new job, so he left to go binge watch my personal favorite, American Ninja. Anywho, my husband and I started off managing that group of five, and they grew so quickly that in what seems like the blink of an eye, suddenly there were 12 more under them, and those 12 raised up seven of their own. Those seven have quite a few of their own, so I guess you could say we're at least a 32-person crew by now. Our plans to be fruitful and multiply have been quite successful. <laughs> That's a decent-sized organization, Mrs. M. Yes, we're very organized. <laughs> Mrs. M, let me ask you about a few of the many occupational titles you've checked off. Just to make sure I completely understand what's happening right now. It says here you were an operations research analyst. For how many years? For... Yes, for years and years I ran an operation mm -hmm, that required the precise coordination of materials, machines, and people. I organized, operated, and coordinated in the most efficient manner possible by applying scientific methods and mathematical principles to organizational problems, evaluated alternatives, and always chose the course of action that best met the organizational goals. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Uh, what about amusement and recreational attendance? Yes. Plant, organized, and directed recreational activities. And traffic controller? Yes, I coordinated movement of traffic, making sure they kept a safe distance from things and each other if necessary. My immediate concern in that role was safety, but also to minimize delays. Chop, chop. Medical examiner? Yes. Oh, just animals, Mr. Ward, not humans. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Nurse and physician? Mrs. M. Yes, I cared for the sick and injured and prevented them from dying by diagnosing illnesses, prescribing and administering treatment, and sometimes just by leaving the house for a bit. Mm. So you had a home-based practice then? Yes. Investigative reporter, dietitian, and nutritionist. Yes, I planned nutritious programs, supervised the preparation and serving of meals, promoted healthy eating habits, scientifically evaluated their diets, then instilled and 
forced modifications. Accountant, educational administrator. Yes, provided direction, leadership, and day-to-day -day management of educational activities. Travel agent, purchaser, and buyer. Yes, obtained the highest quality merchandise at the lowest possible prices. Yes, I did that. Also, chauffeur, photographer, mo Oh, I see you checked off motivational speaker. Ever do any TED Talks, Mrs. Mm, M? Just with my five, Taylor, Tyler, Terry, Tate, and Timmy Talks. No TEDs yet, but it's never too late. Mm. Mm, no TEDs. Music teacher. Oh, what kind of human services worker, Mrs. M? Oh, case manager, alcohol and drug abuse counselor, one of the low points of my career, mental health technician. You name it, I have done it. Providing direct and indirect services. I have to admit, Mrs. M, I've never seen anything like this before. Budget analyst, loan officer, Lawyer and judge, teacher, clergy, lodging manager, corrections officer. Yes, I maintain security and observed conduct and behavior to prevent disturbances and escapes. I oversaw those awaiting trial or convicted of a crime and if warranted, sentence them to the chair. You sentence people to the chair? Oh yes. That chair in the corner of the kitchen always made him think twice. A speech therapist, tutor, loan officer, waitress, housekeeper, bodyguard, hairdresser, masseuse, cosmetologist, personal trainer, I could go on and on. This is the longest resume we've ever seen here. Understandable. Mrs. M, just out of curiosity, can you also? Yes. What about? Yes. Do you have experience in? Yes. If you could. I can. How long would it take you to? Not long. I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but I believe you may be overqualified for anything we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we did somehow place you in any of these positions, I don't think they could even afford you. I can see that. I guess the only thing that's really missing here is, mm -hmm, yeah, I, I don't see any referrals here. Which is a shame, as my referrals should have been here five minutes ago to pick me up. I am so embarrassed, Mr. Ward. I raised them to never be late. Oh, I missed their text. Oh, they got a flat tire on the way here. Stranded on the side of the road. Oh, my. Mr. Ward, your mother is still on hold, impatiently waiting for you on line three. Mrs. Littenhoff, could you please take a message? Mm -mm, I don't think so, young mister. You should never dismiss your mother. You never know, you just may end up pushing her straight into an unemployment office where she's obviously overqualified, so I take that call if I were you, make her feel appreciated. Mrs. Lidnoff, go ahead and patch his mama through. I have a tire to change, back in a jiffy. Okay, Mrs. M, Mrs. Lidnoff, please pass my mama through. Mama. Wonder Mama.